Hey Sagittarius, what's up? Welcome to your April 2019 general reading. This reading is going to apply to Sagittarius Sun, Moon, and Rising. Um, if you don't know your Moon and Rising sign, there is a calculator down in my description. Go ahead and click on that. You can enter your birthday, birth time, and then you can find out what it is. So um, I would also encourage you to go watch your videos for your um, sun and moon signs. It will help give you more clarity for the month. And also, if this one doesn't seem to resonate too much, maybe those will resonate with you better. Dang, okay. Dang, Sagittarius with the Ace of Cups. You guys um, feeling pretty happy here in some sort of new relationship, brand new start. Let's see if that wants to come up in your reading again, okay? So what I'm going to do is, um, if you guys are... First time watchers, I always encourage everyone to comment their birthdays down in the comment section, uh, represent for Sagittarius gang, and see if you can find your birthday twin. All right, Saggies, so I'm going to shuffle right now. I'm going to fast forward that to keep the video nice and short. And when we come back, we'll go through the reading together. All right, Sagittarius, so this is your spread for April 2019, okay? So if you guys are on Instagram, so am I. Please follow me. I'll be doing weekly uh, tarot forecasts on my Instagram page, so that information should be down in the corner and also the description. And if this video resonates with you, provides any clarity in any way, please support the channel, hit the like button, also subscribe. This way I can continue to bring you monthly videos, okay? So... Sagittarius, what a month here. And you see that tower card, right? Let's not try to ignore it. This is major arcana in your reading. There is a major shakeup, change, or transformation that is about to happen here for you. <clears throat> now, I'm getting a lot of water energy and a lot of earth energy, okay? A lot of you could be dealing with a earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or this could be talking to your money situation, your finances. You see all of your pentacle cards are in reverse. All right, so the driving energy for all of this is the four of pentacles in reverse, which talks about a loss, okay? It could be a financial loss here. I feel as if you have lost maybe some sort of position or a job, or this could talk about just dropping a person in general. Mm. And then you have the water energy here. You have the Knight of Cups, you have the Page of Cups, and then you have the King of Cups representing your overall energy for the month. So you guys are very in touch with your emotions here. I feel like you guys are keeping a good balance emotionally through a lot of, I wouldn't say chaos, but a lot of changes that are happening in your life here. All right. I feel like there's been some sort of loss here. Could be a partner. For some of you, you know, my condolences, it could actually be like a person, like a mother or a family figure. There was some sort of loss here. But for a lot of you, it's like a financial loss. Okay. But you guys are maintaining your composure here. Now, you do have justice at the bottom of your deck, which talks about things going in your favor good luck, good karma. So there is a lot of good luck and favor here for you. All right, whatever this tower energy is, which is representing the outcome for the month, I feel as if it's going to bring just or justice to your life. Okay, this tower is meant to happen. This tower is in a sense, some sort of karma here. So depending on you guys, it could be good karma, it could be bad karma, but based off the energy that you're in with this King of Cups, you guys seem very unbothered by the changes that are happening in your life here. For a lot of you, I feel like you are starting over, starting anew, maybe you're starting a new job. Um, I feel like some sort of demotion has happened here. So if it's not a new job, maybe you're in a new relationship. You've gone, you've lost something that I feel was very established or you've been in for a while for something new. What's crossing you here is the three of cups, which represents celebrations, joy, coming together. Okay, there could be news of some sort of coming together. I get that there's some sort of celebration after the destruction of something. 
okay, something that was meant to fall, something that was meant to come crashing down, something that was meant to be over. It's almost, you know, not to put in a negative way, like celebrating the destru destruction or downfall of something, but it's an energy of things crumbling, but still keeping that joy about you, like not letting it break you is what I feel. I feel like you guys are still able to maintain happy and maintain joyous and appreciative, even though everything around you is crumbling, you're still able to maintain your composure. Likely because I feel as if you guys feel these changes are necessary in your life right now. Whatever's falling away from your life, it's meant to happen, but there will be some sort of shock coming towards the end of the month, and we'll clarify that card to see exactly what it is. But the signs that I'm seeing here is we have Libra with justice, so you could be dealing with the Libra. Heavy Scorpio placement here with the King of Cups, Page of Cups, Knight of Cups, and then the Tower. Okay, Earth energy here, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and even in your immediate environment, we've got a little bit of air. So Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Now here in your environment, you are coming towards a crossroads, all right? Your mental state is the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. So what I'm getting is that you are thinking a lot about things that are not working for you, okay? And you're ready for a dramatic change for something that you've been putting, it almost feels like wasted effort. You've been putting in a lot of effort and get, not getting back something in return, <clears throat> Now, your subconscious here, this card is representing your subconscious and the messages it's trying to deliver to you. You have the messenger. This is telling you to listen. Look at you, the king of cups. So you are absolutely in tune with your emotions right now. Okay? I feel like for a lot of you, you've been distracted with work, distracted with obligations, responsibilities, and you haven't, you haven't been following your gut for too long. But that's all about to change in a major way. So anything that wasn't working for you, anything that was a financial burden or keeping you from progressing, that's all going to come crashing down. And that may be different for every, or it will be different for every Sagittarius. <clears throat> Excuse me. But you guys are very in tune with the messages that your subconscious is trying to deliver. And we will clarify this card to see what these messages are. Okay, but... Pay attention to your subconscious. It's telling you that you're in for a surprise, right? With that fish in the cup, there's a surprise coming. And boy, is it a surprise? Boy, will it shock you. Boy, will it bring a lot of change into your life, okay? And expect this to happen out of nowhere. Look at your environment. The two of swords. So things are kind of, <clears throat> you're trying to find peace is what I feel. You're trying to keep the peace. You're trying to maintain peace in your life. But something's going to come out of nowhere and just shake your world up. All right? Whatever this is, I feel like it's going to be a cause for celebration. Okay? It's going to bring people together. It's going to make people happy with the justice card here as well. So I wouldn't be scared of this change. So this, these shakeups that are happening in your life... It's for the better. It's meant to happen. Universe is what is saying that this is what it feels is just. And it feels like these the shakeups that are going to happen for you are going to bring justice to your life. It's going to set everything in balance and in order. Okay, so I'm going to continue this reading over at Vimeo. We'll do the extended. And in the extended, we are absolutely going to clarify this tower card because, wow, you know, big things are coming your way, Sagittarius. You want to see exactly what it is. Whatever it is, it's going to shake up this little bubble you've created for yourself or this zen atmosphere you've been trying to keep. Even though things haven't been going your way, you guys have kept such a great positive attitude. But we will clarify, <clears throat> excuse me, a lot of these cards, you have a lot of people cards, a lot of court cards. We want to see who these people are. We definitely want to see what is all of this cause for celebration and joy and happiness that's crossing you this month. And we'll even check out justice, okay, and this queen of pentacles. But mainly in the, in the extended, besides clarifying everything and finding out what your subconscious wants you to know, we're going to get some advice, additional advice, 
and additional messages from universe what they feel is important for you to know this month, okay? So uh, for anyone who doesn't decide to join me over in Vimeo, thank you so much for watching. I hope this reading was able to give you clarity and peace of mind. And I will see you guys in the next monthly video. So take care, Sagittarius.